Hey guys, so in this video, I was just going to quickly show you how to set up a app to allow you to use WhatsApp on your Apple Watch. So in my case, I have the Apple Watch Series 7. This app is called Chat App Plus. We've got a splash screen here. So there's two versions, obviously there's free version and then there's a paid version. And we can see on the paid version, it allows different functionality. So you can listen to voice messages and record them. You can download media such as images and videos to watch them on your Apple Watch and you can use the keyboard, built-in keyboard on the Apple Watch to reply to messages as well. Apple Watch, so you just go to your watch app. Once you've downloaded it, it automatically loads, but we will just check that it's actually on the watch. So we can see here, chat app is loaded onto the watch. It's a matter of opening WhatsApp and going to your settings tab on the bottom. You go to link devices, and again click on link a device in the meantime you'd want to open the app on your apple watch and you'd want to click on login and it'll present to you with a qr code so if you just position that we can see here it tells us that we need to scan the qr code you just dismiss that pop-up and just hover your phone over the apple watch and it logs you in Then once it's logged in, you can see here the device is logged in. If you click on that, it just gives you a bit more information and the option to log out if you want to disconnect. Just got some a conversation here where I was testing things with my own self. So we can scroll through all the messages that have come through. So on here you have the option to send a voice message. So if I click on that, first time it'll ask you to allow access to the microphone. But once you've done that, it's a matter of just clicking it. You can dismiss it by pressing the X on the left or send it once you're done recording. And just asks you to send recorded message to the person you're sending to. So you just press send. And you'll see the voice message comes up there. You'll see the voice message pops up. So that works all fine. I did find that loading media, so I've got some images here and stuff. This is something that I probably would have to report to them, but I've tried and it would just stay loading like that. You can see in the conversation, it's a bunch of images that are there, but it stays at 0%. So I think that's something that they need to fix. And when it comes to replying to a message or writing a message, you've got your quick replies here, or you have the option to use the keyboard. So now when you click on this, It'll pop up with the message on your iPhone saying Apple Watch keyboard, keyboard input. So you can choose to reply from there, but that doesn't make any sense. Or you can just use the built-in keyboard. If you send that, you can see it's come up. So all in all it works well, apart from the media not loading. And just to clarify, I did pay for the paid version on this example I'm showing. But if we swipe to the right on the screen, you can, you see you have uh, settings here, the volume setting allows you to choose the volume for playing back voice messages. And then we have a refresh button here. If you click on that, I guess it just updates and refreshes the chat you have. If you go back, play the voice message. So it is a good functionality of being able to actually listen to uh, voice messages on your Apple Watch. And you can also start a new chat within the Apple Watch itself, so you can scroll through all your contacts on WhatsApp and pick any one of them to start a new chat with someone. All in all, I think it's a really good app. It does allow you to use the main functionalities of WhatsApp right here on your wrist. In my previous video, I've shown you um, another example of an Apple Watch WhatsApp app, which was called WhatsApp, and that was quite good as well. And even though I do prefer the layout and the functionality of this second app chat app plus um, this one's another alternative if you want to check out the video where i installed what chat i'll put it at the end of this video so you can have a look if you were wanting to set up that app but all in all both apps down to the core have the same functionality and they just let you interact with your whatsapp chats on your apple watch thanks for watching guys